What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hard Park 703 channel. So it's been a long time since I've gotten on here. Um, I literally just got through the door. Um, I was pulling up and coincidentally, the UPS driver was out in front. And so I greeted him and he just dropped off a massive, massive package. We're going to get right into that. I've been waiting for this thing since February. I placed an order for this product in February. It is now what? Uh, October 21st. So that's so I was literally going to start this next segment with, well, cat's out of the bag now, but obviously she literally is in the frame. But anyways, the reason why I say cat's out of the bag now, because if you, if I zoom in a little bit, right, and you just read right there, any of you who are familiar with Nine Lives Racing know exactly what's in here, right? So, and for those who don't know Nine Lives Racing, um, this is Arrow. And so this right here, this box is absurdly huge absurdly huge so i'm hoping um it's a wing it's a wing guys um i'm hoping the wing literally is like it's like from here to here because otherwise i don't think literally from end to end i that's not going to fit through the garage door so let's let's unbox it let's find uh let's find all the pieces and everything like that and then that way i can take a a, a better look at all of this this is it's going to be really really sick but first i think there's some instructions right here all right, so stop. Stop to our new customers. Please inspect the box and contents as soon as possible. Is there any damage, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the box. What does the box look like? Uh, okay, well, I mean, that doesn't doesn't look too bad. Um, this kind of has a little bit of gouge. Didn't go all... I mean, didn't, uh, there's something hard right behind this. I uh, hope everything's okay. But all right, at least I'm filming it, right? I just came through the door. There's some damage right there. There's some damage right here. But that I, I think that's minimal. I, I don't... <laughs> The box looks really, really good. Um, anything right here? Ah, nobody's home. Stop calling. Let's flip this over. Um, no, it doesn't look like there's anything. Let's flip it over again. No, except for those two, except for those two corner or whatever, like those two sort of. Oh God, the plant. Oh. Okay. Yeah, except for that. I mean, the box looks intact. So let's open it up. Let's make sure everything's intact and stuff. And then, yeah, please just let everything be intact. I really don't want to have to, like, send this thing back or anything. Box opener, obviously. From February to October. Can you imagine if I had to send this thing back? You know, how... I'm terrified to think how long it would take to get, like, an another piece made or whatever. So, anyways, let's just, let's hope everything's working just fine. And lots of bubble wrap. That's exactly what I want to see with a product like this. All right, good stuff. Okay. Uh, all right, this is awesome too. Like, they even put like an inner cardboard along the edge. Yeah, this thing looks super secure. I'm. Yeah, this thing looks super secure. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, it's like all the, it's 
like all the parts are attached to it, which is fantastic. So it's not like you're missing any parts. Like everything's just, it's like one solid package, you know? And like this, all of this together right now, like literally all of this together, this waist. Realistically, I'm telling you right now, because I literally just got home from the gym and I was lifting like 25 pounds and stuff. I don't even think this is 20 pounds. This is with like all the hardware included and stuff. The, the, the two, I kind of give it away. But anyways, um, the wing itself, it's, uh, the wing itself weighs like nothing. It's like air. So just the hardware is what weighs. Dude, this is awesome. This is gnarly. Oh, that's so sick. It's like, yeah, that's awesome. All right. Okay, that's just the other end of this stuff. Good stuff. All right, cool. Let's uh, start opening this stuff up carefully. My anxiety always goes up with all these things. I guess it's because I'm always like terrified. Like, it's going to be like uh, damaged underneath or something like that, you know? But everything looks intact. Everything looks great. There's no damage to anything on the inside of these boxes and stuff. So, okay, just get my heart rate down. All right, so let's find out what's in here. Well, okay, so it makes sense. Like in case anything's damaged or something like that, I guess they give you uh, like return packages and stuff, which is great because, yeah, obviously you have to find a box or something like that. And what are you gonna do? Like what if one small little piece is missing? You're gonna throw it back in the massive box and ship that thing back, you know? Uh, let's see. All right, cool. So you gotta, yeah, all right, that's cool. You got priority and UPS boxes. Um, all right, I guess maybe open this one up with scissors. Yeah, probably gonna have to open this one up with scissors. I always get nervous doing this too, because I'm always terrified when like cut something important, like instructions or like scrape whatever's in here or something, you know? Just to... Talk about packing jobs. Like, this is a dream come true. Like, this is exactly how I would want to receive something that was, like, ridiculously expensive and ridiculously, like, custom and unique and everything. So. so sick. That carbon fiber looks epic. Ooh. That is really, really nice carbon fiber. That is so awesome. Wow. Legit, like legit. Okay, so it's dry carbon, right? So, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. Let me get around camera. All right, so let's see. Like, can you guys as, uh, let me zoom in a little bit? Huh? You see that? Look at that. It's really, really nice, right? It's super thin, super lightweight. Obviously, look at that. I have no idea, like the orientation of this. Um, maybe like that. Right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so this is dry carbon. Okay, so I. And it's got like a 
it's got some type of like lacquer on it because I could see that it was on the uh, the paper. It was kind of like a what do you call it? almost kind of like an oil or whatever, which I think is fantastic. I, I assume it's like you know to preserve it and stuff like that. But uh, I'm gonna clear this. Um, yeah, because I don't I don't want to paint. I don't want to get these painted. Because I was thinking I was going to paint these to match. Like, if these are going to be the end, what do, you, what do you call it? Like, the end points of the wing itself. I, I don't want to... I love how I'm talking behind the camera. <laughs> I hope my voice is still coming out. I don't want to paint this. Because I thought they were just going to be aluminum. So I was going to get that painted. So then that way it matched the paint job of the vehicle. But since these are uh, carbon, I'm just going to get these clear coated. Um, just, like the, uh, just like the wing. So that also gives away... Like if the wing is aluminum or not. But anyways, we're going to get into that. So yeah, so these are really cool. So there's two of these. Okay, well, these are prized possessions. <laughs> Put these aside and let's see what's in this other box. Wrapping like a piece of like salami or something. Oh, that's dope. Okay, so these, all right, so these are the reinforced ones. Okay, this is what he said, billet aluminum. Yeah, these are the reinforced uh, pylons. Pylons, if I'm saying it correctly. P -p pylons. I hope I don't sound like an idiot. I'm sorry. I probably do. But um, yeah, pylons. I, I always just call these uprights. Right, like uh, these are the uprights of the wing or whatever like that, but I, I think, um, wait, what, what's the name? I forget. But anyways, uh, they were saying these are pylons. Um, so if, if that's correct, then that's what they are. Um, that's cool. Come with a logo. That's really nice. Oh, that's dope. It also, it's your order number. That's really cool. So check this out. So look at that. All right. And then that's my order number. That's so awesome. Oh, that's that's really, really cool. Wow. Yeah. Dude, these things are solid. These are these are definitely like extra thick and stuff. These aren't moving. These are not moving. Yeah, these are these aren't moving. Alright, so these are gonna bolt down right there. And this is gonna swoop. This this just looks so complicated. <laughs> Z ZR1R. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, okay, so obviously, as you guys know, so I've got the Z06, and then I've got the ZR1 mounting, um, they all the hardware and everything like that. So I had ordered one for a ZR1, um, and then they asked me for specific measurements from like uh, from like end to end on the trunk, right? So like this was on one side, and then I needed to measure to the other side. And so I took measurements from the back, and then I took measurements from like the front and stuff, you know? So I sent it to them, um, so, you know, I think they probably tried to get it as accurate as possible. They did say um, ZR1s vary, right? Um, so, so we'll see. But yeah, that that's awesome. Anybody know what this is? Stand the wing up or something? I don't know, that's weird. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to run this by my friends. They'll let me know at the shop.
this out. Dude. This is gnarly. Ah, this is so sick. So they definitely, they definitely treat it with some type of oil, um, a lacquer, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really, really nice. Wow. Let's see if it comes out. Like, so I'm gonna put it like here. You guys can see it. All right. Like, look at that. Wow. It's like razor thin. Dude, that's so. It weighs nothing. It weighs absolutely nothing. And you can see like the ends right there. So the obviously what I was just showing you before will screw into here. Um, okay, so here's one. The amount of bubble wrap and the amount of uh, like layers of this and then cardboard, this is, I wish everything would literally come this secure. Like even my Blu-rays, when I order like those uh, steel bookcases that I love, like I wish it would come like this. So then that way you, you have no dings or scratches or nothing. Like when I got, perfect example, when I got my C7 carbon wing, right? The one that's on the Z06 right now, it didn't even come with like half of this much protection. And it was protected. I, I felt like it was protected, but it didn't even come with half as much as this. So th this is, wow, this is, this is really saying something. Still so much more to cut. You know how long it probably, like, the labor should be charged into the, the secure packaging as well, in my opinion. Like, you know how long it probably took someone to wrap this? Like, each one of these, like, individually wrapped. And then the next layer goes on, and then the next layer goes on. Look at this. Dude, that is sick. I'm not gonna take this off right now. I don't, I don't wanna take this off. So I'll show you guys close up view. Dude, this thing is sick. It's like I'm holding a surfboard. I'm telling you, it weighs nothing. It weighs absolutely nothing. All right, so this is, I guess, the main body of the wing, right? So it's a dual blade wing. Um, okay, so obviously this is gonna go to the pylons and then all right, all right, okay, how, what, what, how does this go? All right, um, so is this the front or just the back? Right, so, right. Well, obviously it's not gonna go like this, it can't go like that, right? Like, it doesn't go that way. It's gotta go this way. Well, whatever, all right, let me, let me, let me figure this out. Okay, so. All right, so if I put this down, so if I, if I put this down, you get what I'm saying. This is the one that's gonna go to the pylons. It's bothering me that I don't know which way. And then this is supposed to be the adjustable portion that you can, uh, it's like a second wing, so you can like create more downforce if necessary or like uh, reduce it for that matter. Um, so yeah, so it's a dual bladed wing, which is dope. Like this is the biggest wing they offer, okay? Um, I, I, I wanted something for next season, right? Like I wanted something that like will look great on the vehicle. Like I was gonna say subtle, but this is not subtle. I, I, I shouldn't even pretend to make it seem like, oh, I wanted something subtle, something that blends in. No, I'm pretty sure I was thinking at the time and right now I'm also excited about it. I just wanted something like super loud. So like you can spot this thing like a mile away and I'm pretty certain that this is gonna do the trick. Like. The size of this wing, right? Like it's gonna be a dual bladed wing, which is awesome. And then the size of the, the end plates or whatever, right? Obviously. Dude, this is nuts. This is so nuts. You know what's more nuts? The fact that this weighs nothing. This weighs nothing at all. You're not adding any weight to the vehicle. 
you, you'd be surprised how heavy the ZR1 uh, hardware is. The ZR1, uh, like the wing mounting uh, hardware and stuff like that for the chassis. Oh my gosh. Like lifting that thing up, I, that was like a 40 pound dumbbell. All right, maybe not a 40 pound dumbbell, but like a 30 pound dumbbell. So, but this, all of this stuff that you're gonna put on the car, no. oh, did I spit on it? Oh, I'm so sorry. But yeah, all right, so now you guys have seen the surprise for next season. So I'm gonna get this mounted. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Like I wanna do this right now, but at the same time, I also wanna get another car. So I've been doing really good about not buying guns or like Corvette parts. Like this I bought in February, right? Like, so this was an old purchase. I was just waiting on it. But yeah, so I've been doing really good on saving my money um, so I can put like a really big down payment. Um... Dude, this is just so sick. Like, all right, so aluminum end plates, I guess you would say, right? Okay, so pretty sturdy. All right, so it's got it there. Um, and then just, wow. It's just so nice. I mean, this, this looks fantastic. I just don't want to take this off right now because, I mean, I got to... Repackage all of this if I'm gonna send this off to get it clear coated. So, and I, I want to get it clear coated. So then, obviously, then that way it's got the obviously the wet uh, look of the rest of the carbon fiber on the exterior of my vehicle, and then also, uh, well, I guess the interior as well. But not just that. Um, obviously, for the protection, right? Like, I mean, right now it's winter time and stuff like that, so we only have a few hours of sunlight, and the sun isn't beaming down on the vehicle, so that doesn't matter. You guys know that. But when it's summertime, you you know how hot it was this summer. It was disgusting, dude. That. Everything is baking on the car, so obviously I don't want this thing to fade or anything like that. So of course I'm gonna get that done. But then, you know what I was so I'm thinking, thinking the the pylons, right? Like, because remember I told you I was gonna do the um, easy. um I was gonna do the end plates, like the wing end plates or whatever, right? I was gonna get those painted, right? So then that way it would like match the the paint job of the car and stuff. Um, so if if I don't want to do that now with those. I'm thinking then do the pylons, like I could, I could I could do these pylons, I could get these painted, instead of them being like the flat black like they are, I could get them painted um, uh, the carbon flash, the carbon flash, just like the, just like the pylons, I'm saying now I'm learning the word pylons, just like the pylons that are on the vehicle currently, um, those are carbon flash and they look really, really nice. So I'm thinking I'm gonna drop this off at NV Coatings to get that done and then that way, um, oh, but then check this out. Let's, if I get the if I get the if I get the pylons um, painted carbon flash, then I'm probably gonna wanna. But see, those are on there. See, those are on there. I don't want to take those off. Like, yeah, those aren't. That's that's like on there, on there. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, leave them all the same color. Like, leave them all black. So then that way when. The pylons bolt up to this, it's all the same, flowing the same color. Or get the pylons, right? Like get the pylons uh, carbon flash and then just leave these be, right? Because these are on the bottom anyways. You don't really see those. All right, so I've got everything I need right now. Um, I gotta find time between work. Sucks now. When you have like a nine to five, Monday to Friday job, like I don't wanna use vacation to just like get this done. You know, like I I'd rather use vacation for other purposes and stuff. So. But I'm thinking I might just do that. I've got vacation coming up, so I'm thinking I might just take one of those days. I'm going to schedule an appointment to get this installed. So if I know the installation date for the wing, then for that matter, I can drop I can drop the wing off beforehand at Chantilly Auto Body to get this thing clear-coated. And then it should be done in time by the installation date, you would say, you know, theoretically. Um, so I think that is going to be the way to go. And then also, with all that being said, I'm going to drop the other stuff off at NB Coatings. And then also have that just sent to uh, GTP. So everything can just get sent to GTP once it's ready. And then we just get it installed. So, so yeah. So let me get this measured and see what it comes out to from end to end. And then I'm going to go up to the garage and then we'll see. Obviously slightly, we'll it's like slightly less than 74 and a half inches. Um, so let's go take a look in the garage. See, technically, the end plates on this thing, they flare out. They're not just flat. So on the new wing, they're going to be flat. So I'm wondering if I should measure from there to the other end or just from here to here. Well, regardless, we're going to we're going to see we're going to see how 
yeah so okay if you're asking I why to go with another wing instead of the current one that i have on it now i just i just don't like um well i mean i, I do like the wing but i just don't like how it it's wavy right so it just it didn't flow as well with the car as i had thought I the whole back is completely flat up here, right? So a flat wing with this being flat, I think it'll look a lot better than this being flat and then this curves. Like, especially, like if you, like technically like here, the roof and then it flares out, right? And then the back like humps and then it flares out. So it kind of follows the body line, but this is much more like squared type and that's very bubbly like on the top of the wing you get what i'm saying so it's just in general it's just it just it looks slightly out of place so the new wing i'm hoping it, it fits like a lot better you get what i'm saying but anyways um so remember with the pylons like so these pylons obviously are, are painted the the carbon flash color um so i'm gonna do the same thing and then i guess this part would just be a flat black but I don't know, I'd still rather have this painted carbon flash because this is carbon flash. So at least it'll it'll flow. So yeah, well we'll see. But anyways, let me take a measurement of this. Alright. So from from here, so from here to here, end to end, right? Um it's 69 inches. Literally, from that tip to this tip. And obviously it's flared out, as you can see. So let's add, I don't know, let's say it's 70, I don't know, 70. One inch here and one inch there, I guess. Let's say 71 inches from here to here, right? And then I took a measurement from here to this back corner. That's 70. It was like 71.8. And then this front corner flares out slightly, right? So like right here. So I believe instead of that being 71.8, that'd probably be like what? Like maybe 73. So like 73 from there to there. And so the the other wing, it's flat and it's like 74 something, right? 74.4 or whatever. So that's that's a big wing. That is a big wing. That's gonna be sticking out. That's gonna be sticking out to like right here. Man, all right, is that gonna, oh man. Okay, I really hope it fits in the garage door. I really, really hope it fits in the garage door because that's gonna be from like right here all the way to like right here so yeah i mean uh, okay does that stick out past the fender no it doesn't no it doesn't it doesn't and like i've got room on the fender so yeah that's fine all right i'm just i'm freaking myself out but yeah all right so i've got room i've got room it's just, it was just i the angle was throwing me off obviously i'm filming and stuff like that and i'm looking at it but realistically if i'm from the side of the vehicle right here i mean yeah, the fender, the fender sticks out more. Uh, I mean, technically, if I'm following the body line, I mean, it's like spot on. It's like spot on. Well, whatever, I've got, I've still got extra inches for the rear. So, I mean, I'll, I'll still have room, but I'm going to have to be really careful bringing this thing straight. In. All right. So let's get to it. I mean, it's Saturday. Um, I'm going to have to wait till Monday to call GTP. So I'm going to schedule something. Um, hopefully they can get me in, I don't know, hopefully within two weeks, um, which would give me plenty of time to obviously drop everything off at uh, Chantilly Auto Body and at NV, NV Coatings and then have all that just, I guess, depending on when I'm doing all that, either they can ship it straight there or I can just pick it up and then have it here at the house and bring everything on the day of uh, the night before installation or whatever, you know how I normally drop off the vet. But anyways, all right, so that's the game plan. All right, I'll I'll uh, I'll see you guys in a, a few days, hopefully. One last thing. So like the most difficult part when making that wing um, was when w when I noticed that they wanted me to take these measurements, right? I figure it's, it's probably difficult to get the exact measurements uh, from here to here, right? Like, you know, do people measure from here to here or do they measure from there to there blah blah, blah. so anyways I, I took all those measurements and i sent that over um but then it's the pylon they're, they're like slightly tilted inwards right and so they're not just like 
straight. They're tilted kind of in that direction. So that's the difficult part, right? So I'm, I'm just hoping they, they try to get it as accurate as possible. Um, hopefully not too much custom work will have to be made, you know, to get them to fit. But, you know, here's fingers crossed that, you know, it gets done. Because I get it. They, they mentioned, like, these very slightly on the ZR1s, right? Like, the, um, I, I think they were saying, like, they had two... 2019 ZR1s and the, it had different measurements. So that's GM quality for you, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. I, obviously, I haven't brought them back here, you know, because like I could hold one pile on there and one pile on there, but then who's going to hold the wing in place to see if it all matches up? So anyways, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge um, at a later date. And, you know, like, so hopefully GTPs doesn't have too much of an issue installing the wing. I know they hate me when I bring something because every time like I bring Like being something. a custom job. Uh, like, I, I tell them, hey, schedule just a simple wing appointment. Um, you know, like wing installation. It, it, it shouldn't take too long, blah, blah, blah. And, like, they always just like, all right, yeah, man, I got you. But I feel like they are, or they always know, like, it's going to, the car's going to stay there longer than it has to. Because of the fact that they're probably going to have to fabricate something or fix something, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully that's not the case this time because I hate giving them extra work to do. Um, especially like if Darren's going to be doing the car and I'm, I'm thinking Darren's probably going to be doing the car cause he did the, the other wing install. Um, he's always like, God, you give me such a headache like with your vehicle. But anyway, all right. So new day just pulled up to Envy Coatings. I'm going to drop off these, uh, the pylons and then I got to make my way over to, um, the auto body shop to see when they can get the wing in. And so we'll just go from there. And then Galen at GTP already told me that, um, once like the wing has been at my house like like curing for like at least two weeks or whatever before any of us handle it and stuff then uh like mid-november we'll we'll get it in gtp so we can install it he you know he made a good point like you know it was, it was a really custom unique piece that's expensive so he was like let's just let's make sure like the the clear coat is flawless and stuff like that you know we don't want to damage anything um so then that way it lasts you as long as possible so all right so sense. it's the next day um so i'm here at skyline auto body uh talked to mo yesterday great guy um, he said that I could, you know, bring over the wing like within 24 hours. So here I'm dropping it off. Um, he said he'd have no problem clear coating it. And so we're gonna get the ball rolling stuff from here. I'm gonna head to GTPs um, and then get my appointment down. So then, you know, hopefully everything just, you know, goes according to plan and stuff, right? Like, so I can get the pylons back from NV Coatings. I can get the wing back. I'll have it all chilling at the house and stuff like that. And then it'll be great. I'll just send it all over to GTPs. And you know, like before I know it, I'll have a new wing on, so. All right, let's get this done. So they're just checking out the pieces right now. So Mo was just verifying that he wants to clear coat. Nah, I just want clear coat on both sides and then no paint and everything. Yep, so just gonna clear coat Nicest them. people you could possibly meet. Um, so Mo introduced me to his fellow co-worker, Z. Z uh, took the wing in, he, he looked it over. It, it, they said it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Mo is gonna give it to his best um, painter here. He said he's gonna do epic work on the clear coat and it should be ready by Friday. I think so today's Wednesday. And he was like, hey, come pick it up Friday. So two days. I was expecting like it was going to be here for like two weeks and stuff. So this is fantastic. Um, sorry, I was putting a piece of paper behind the camera. So anyways, I'll pick it up on Friday. Then I'll hold on to it for two weeks. I'll, I'm going to head to GTPs right now. And I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I'm going to get the appointment going. So then that way, mid-November, I mean, it's good to go. I'll just drop off the car. We'll put the wing on there. Um, I even told just got here to GTPs, set up my appointment. And it was as simple as that. Now we've got an appointment for November 15th. Um, everything everything's lining up nicely man um it was just really nice to see everybody here man i missed everybody here um uh, like obviously i haven't been doing much with the car so you know i haven't been passing by but now we're ramping things up with the vehicle again so yeah um so yeah so november 15th is the uh my install date um which gives plenty of time for um envy coatings obviously to do the pylons and uh so they said like anywhere between now and like november 10th and so th that's great um and then the wing will be done in two days so this friday so yeah man uh, everything's gonna be great i'm so excited i can't wait like <sighs> i hope everything lines up perfectly okay um like with regards to the wing <sighs> i'm not gonna be surprised if they don't though like in a sense i'm not gonna fool myself is what i'm saying so for that matter like you would say hope for the best but like prepare for the worst in the sense that if those pylons don't like line up well then I'm prepared for Darren to 
make any adjustments that he needs to do any custom work uh you know even up to like maybe like fabricating something maybe like an extra bracket or something or, or how whatever whatever we may encounter right we're not going to know until we line everything up and so i'm hoping like fingers crossed that everything lines up nicely but i do understand that there could be a possibility that things might not and it's not it's not a quality issue it's not a quality issue um uh with nine lives racing it's just one of those things that you're not going to know until until like if my vehicle was there then obviously they could take the measurements and they could have done it perfectly but the fact that i my vehicle's not there then i mean you know you can't you can only make adjustments so much or whatever right you get what i'm saying like they can only be as accurate as as possible so hey all right so it is an extremely rainy day but i picked everything up from uh skyline auto body shop and so everything is clear coated um it all came out great uh i guess like the the carbon fiber texturing was different on the pieces because the clear coat came out um different on the main body wing like the bigger wing than the other one um but they clear coated it's uh they sanded it down and cleared it many times it's just it's the difference in texturing um but as long as it's coated and it's not going to fade in the sun i'm happy so i've got the the side leg end plates i've got both wings now i'm gonna take them home and then now we just wait two weeks um for hey, all right so i'm back at nb coatings the parts are all done um the pylons have been now um powder coated so I'm gonna take a look at that and everything and then I'm gonna send them over uh, well I guess I got a meeting real quick but then I'm gonna send it over with the wing and everything um, this afternoon to GTPs I just dropped off the vet at GTPs um, so I got to do it in two parts and stuff like that you know um, it's, just, it's difficult because I'm trying to I'm trying to do other stuff too I'm trying to buy a car I'm trying to get this situated right now um, with the, with the vet and then I also got to pick up my dad from the airport and I, and in between it all I still got I'm, I'm still working so yeah I gotta figure all this out but yeah trying to make some moves real quick or whatever get everything uh, sent over and then tomorrow morning is the install so uh, fingers crossed everything goes everything goes according to plan hey all right so I just picked up the car from GTPs never mind the ridiculous monsoon outside haven't I told you guys in previous videos every single time I either drop off the vehicle or I'm gonna pick it up we just got two weeks, like I think two and a half weeks of solid, amazing, gorgeous, sunny days. And today we are getting like three inches of rain. It, it, it doesn't, it never fails. And so anyways, I'm driving super slow. Obviously you'd be like, well, why are you filming? Then you should be more focused. I am focused. I'm driving very slowly and it's a wide open road and stuff. So just relax. Um, the wing is massive. The wing is absurd. Like this is... This is nuts. This is this is nuts. I, I don't know how else to say it. Wait until you see the wing. I don't want to film it right now. Like obviously you can see it a little bit or whatever like that. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it because I'm gonna wash this car and everything and you guys are gonna see this in the sunlight and everything. This thing is sick. Like, okay, uh, do, if you guys like hill climb or like Pikes Peak and all that type of stuff, yeah, it's like that. I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea what it was going to look like, what it was going to turn out like. Um, I was just hoping it was going to end up being like sexy and looking really, really good. And I'm just so happy. I can tell you guys with like every ounce of my body, I am so in love with my vehicle. Like I absolutely love this car, um, especially with the wing on it now. Like this wing looks so, so good. Um, yes, I enjoyed my other wing. However, it just, it just didn't flow well with the vehicle um i i think even like the the standard zr1 wing would have flowed better with the vehicle it does flow better so this wing now this wing from um nine lives racing it's the dual carbon um wing just yeah uh like wait till you guys see it all right um I'll, I'll leave it at that right there's not much more to say we, i gotta i gotta wash the car and everything um and then i will show it off in every single angle possible here's the difficult part I have no idea how I'm gonna get this into the garage. Um, it, I think it's like it, I, exactly as wide as the fenders. I don't think it's further out. It looks like it, it's hard to tell, like the angle when you're trying to look at it from like the rear corner. Um, so we'll see. Like when I get it up to the door, we'll see. I, I'm pretty certain I'll be able to get it in. However, it hangs off like a foot and a half off the back. It hangs off like significantly. I thought maybe eight. Like Daniel, Daniel over the phone was like eight inches. Um, off the back or whatever compared to the like the other one or whatever and I was like oh, okay that's not too much uh, further back 
No, like the entire wing is off the back. So that added like about a foot and a half. Um, we're gonna see if I, I'm gonna have to move the uh, the fan that I always keep in front of the vehicle and I'm gonna have to move my, uh, that canopy that I use to wash the car in the summertime. I'm just gonna have to move those and see if I can move the car as far forward as possible and see if it clears the door in the back. If not, then I mean, no matter what, this vehicle will have to go to a, uh, a storage unit um, because uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna keep this thing outside, no way. Um, but yeah, and then uh, other things, uh, I'm now thinking about PPFing the, everyone suggested I should PPF the wing because, you know, protect it from fading, but not just from fading, um, also from, you know, rock chips and stuff like that. Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm taking uh, my other car to get tinted. So uh, to get tinted and get some stuff wrapped. So we'll see if Sarath um, can get an appointment in for this vehicle at another time but yeah we'll pick it up when i get home because uh it's starting to pick up in rain so we'll uh we'll see okay so yeah i'll talk to you guys in a little bit all right, all right so last night we had the heaviest downpour like i've ever experienced in my entire life and it's the very first time that i just i left the car outside because i mean it, i couldn't i couldn't get up the driveway I, I would have to pull the boards out and those boards would have like absorbed all the water within like not even 20 seconds that's how hard it was raining and so first time broke my heart like i just, i had to leave my car out on the on the street Something like that, um, you know it's just it really bummed me out it's kind of like leaving a child outside in the cold right like you know you can provide warmth and shelter to the person and that's how i felt about the car and i was like i'm abandoning this poor innocent like vehicle so but anyways um it's now at least sunny. It's it's a nicer, much nicer day. It's it's not too cold. It's like 55 now. So obviously I'm out here and I'm not shivering or anything. Um, I'm going to show you the wing. This is absurd. You, I'm, I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to show it to you. Um, probably have like a whole bunch of hair on my face and everything like that. I just got my hair cut. I'm trying to do so many things right now while in between meetings. Um, last day of work before Thanksgiving. So let me show you the wing. I'm going to pull the vehicle out tomorrow though to wash it have it extra nice and shiny and everything and then i'll show the uh the wing again from a different angle but right now uh with the sun wherever it's at right now and stuff let me this is, this is crazy just check this out so this is me coming out the front door and just look how big it looks from a distance just that thing is nuts right let's take a closer look but look at that thing it's a shopping cart now <laughs> That's nuts, right? Like it flows, like in my, in my opinion, this thing flows so much better than the old wing. Just look at that thing. Just look at it. <laughs> this thing is massive, by the way. Like look at my, look at my hand compared to how big that is. Look at that, like just, so here's, here's the tip of it. Like just to give you an idea of how big it is. <laughs> so. Dual bladed. Let's see. Oh, I didn't even know there was a leaf stuck in here. Oh, don't scratch it. It is clear cutted though. <laughs> but uh, I was trying to get all the leaves off earlier this morning before like they start leaving that like, you know, dirty imprint, but whatever. I'm gonna wash the car tomorrow, but this is just my OCD. Get it off. Get off. Oh, don't scratch the paint. Yeah, this thing, like, look at this. So there you go. So you can get an idea, right? That thing is so sick. It just flows so much better because of the fact that I didn't take into account, like, how flat the back of the vet is, right? Like, compared to the, uh, I mean... All right, C5 and C6, yes, they're flat, but they're round, right? And so the other wing was just so round. And then their top, uh, their roof is more rounded than this. This is, this is the C7 is a very angular, right? Just like the C8, it's, it's like, it looks like a blade. And so I got a very curvy wing. And so it just, it didn't flow right. So I wanted to get more of like a, a straight wing. And that's obviously what I accomplished, right? Like, look at this thing. But just look how far back this thing is. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I had no idea it was going to sit that far back. I had no idea. Absolutely no idea. All right. So look at that. That's how far back it sits. This is nuts. So let me tell you what the problem is. All right. So the problem is 
I gotta get it. <laughs> I gotta put it in the, well, the Mercedes is in the spot right now. Um, I'm probably gonna have to put this thing either in storage or I'm gonna have to put, one or the other is going in storage or whatever, because I don't want to leave my, my new Mercedes outside either. It's it's very special to me. So <laughs> anyways, I gotta pull the Mercedes out. I'm gonna pull, park that here or whatever, and I'm gonna pull this in. It's gonna be the first time that I'm pulling it into the, uh, and I'm pulling it into the garage though. And so I'm terrified right now. I'm terrified because I, I think I just added, I think I just added like about, I don't know, like, I think that's like a foot and a half. I literally, I think that's like a, that's like a foot and a half to the, to the vehicle. So I, that's like a foot and a half. <laughs> and so, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, hopefully it'll fit. I, I don't know. I don't know. Look, check this out. So basically from side to side, like from, from what do you call it? Like, you know, side to side or whatever. I'm pretty certain now I'm not even going to be able to use this door because I'm, I'm thinking it's going to like stick out to like just right the very edge and the sides are so big. I don't think I'm going to be able to like squeeze by anymore. So that's going to be a thing, right? Like this whole back area right here is just going to be completely taken up. But obviously since it sticks out way past the rear bumper, I mean, I got to move all this stuff. Right, so I think the front bumper is going to now come to like basically right here. So I need to move that, um, and then I'm going to have to move this. So I'm going to have to. I don't use the canopy during winter time, anyways, because I don't need extra shade. The whole front of the house is shaded pretty well um, during uh, winter time, and so even right now, like, look how much shade I have. Look how much shade. I, like, it just the sun just doesn't hit the front of the house. Um, so, anyways, I'm just going to move that. Um, and to put that in storage and then I'm just gonna put this in storage because I mean I don't need to cool down the car it's so cold outside that like the it's actually kind of nice to have the garage decently warm so anyways uh that should give me this right here because obviously this is the this is the Mercedes but I usually when I pull the Corvette in the front end is usually right here like this is where the splitter is right and so I'm trying to calculate like right about right here right about where this red line is that's where my splitter is the very tip of it and so from there from that red line to like right back here that looks like it's about a foot and a half that looks it, I, i'm telling you i'm i'm thinking this is going to be like right on the money but i'm hoping it fits so anyways uh first time pulling it in let's let's see if it fit so realistically it'd be easier to just leave the mercedes in the garage and then put this one in storage because the fact that this is such an inconvenience to have it here in the garage now that it takes up literally every maximal like inch that's available it, it's such a hassle right and like ugh, it's just i'm super super ocd like backing in and out ever since that one time that i dinged the door right like uh just it, it, the proportions are just exact and so at least there's less of a headache with the mercedes in there because there's more room on each side uh front to back like front to back it's surprising that this thing is almost just as this thing is just as long as the vet if you weren't including if you if if the vet had the old wing on it right so from the edge of the old wing and if the vet did not have the front lip on it right so from the actual like zr1 um front lip and not the splitter itself to the back of where the old wing was right so the old wing you would say like the old wing was i don't know probably like probably like right here or whatever that's about the length of uh, front to back or whatever um, of the Mercedes. Like it, it looks deceptive because it's from the top to the top doesn't look that long, but the bumper sticks out a lot more. And so from that to the very front lip, it sticks out a little bit more. So yeah, it's just, it's funny. It looks much smaller than the Corvette, but I mean, they're really the, kind of the, almost the same dimensions, but anyways. All right. So let's get this up. Let's, let's see if it actually, let's see if it fits. So it looks like it ended up fitting. Okay. So I did have to remove, obviously, like I told you, I had to remove the front. And so that stuff's right here. I'm going to put that in storage. Um, so if I move it all the way up, like, so there's, there's room right here. That's fine. It's this corner, right? That I got to be careful with. Luckily I've got the cameras up front. So then that way I can see all of this. I can see all the way from like right where my foot is to the other side. So that's fantastic. Look how close it is though over here as I pull it forward. Look at that. Look at where the tire is. And look at that. Like you have to be extremely, extremely careful. Like this, this is high anxiety. <laughs> but I was able to pull it forward enough to like where you can get in and out of the garage. 
this way. I was worried, like, I thought if I left this further back, it's going to get clipped by this, right? So, like, if this was further back, I thought this was going to, like, come down maybe and, like, scrape it or something. But I've got a, I've got a good amount of room. Like, over here, the vehicle is angled that way slightly. So, instead of going, instead of going straight, it's angled that way. Um, so, if it was more even or whatever, I'd say about I have a, a foot a foot of clearance so i should be good i should be able to back it up more i just want to know i just i need to figure out like if i'm gonna learn like you know with a visual cue on the side or something if i'm gonna learn to park this thing like right here further back so then the door still clears and then maybe i can put the fan i can leave the fan and the canopy up front or if i should just get used to just parking it further forward and then this way at least i can use that door in and out right because the problem is the, the buttons, the buttons are right there on the outside of this door, right? So we, we're gonna, you know, the buttons are gonna have to change to this door um, if I'm gonna, depending on what I'm gonna do, because then otherwise you won't be able to cut me in and out. Cause right now to get in and out, you have to go sideways. See, like I have to literally be sideways because my back's already up against this thing right here. So, but it fit, it fit, thank God it fit. All right, so that's nice, <laughs> like, Thank God it's not any bigger or anything, so it fits. So now I'm just going to bring the Mercedes up, I guess. <sighs> Mercedes was nice and clean now. It's going to get all scraped up with leaves. But whatever. All right. So I'll pick this up, uh, I guess, tomorrow morning or whatever. But yeah. So <laughs> great news. Thank God it fit. From side to side. From side to side, it was going to fit perfectly. Um, it's not as wide as the rear fenders. So obviously, if the rear fenders cleared, then the wing was going to clear as well. So, yeah. Anyways, all right. Gotta get a uh, gotta get going to a meeting. So I'll pick. Hey, up. happy Thanksgiving, everybody. All right. So I'm gonna <laughs> all washed up, ready to go to uh, my cousin's house for Thanksgiving. Uh, this is this thing looks so good in the sun. Let me let me show you. We're gonna, we're gonna finally wrap up this video, and you're gonna see the wing in beautiful, gorgeous sunlight. Couldn't have asked for a better day for Thanksgiving. So check this thing out. All nice and shiny. Look at that thing. That thing is massive. Oh my god. Oh, that's nuts. See, that thing hangs off so far off the back. But look at that. goes so, it's it flows so much better with the car it just it flows so so much better with the car and it's on there by the way like so i uh i wanted the uh well it's not that i wanted i guess Johnny, uh, Johnny from Nine Life Racing, he suggested that I get billet um, pylons as opposed to the standard aluminum because he was afraid that they, it would it would cause so much downforce that it would rip off. Um, obviously, I'm not going to push the vehicle to that potential, but it's awesome that he custom made those for me. And so then I got them. Uh, obviously, I got them the the same color as the carbon flash right here. So pretty dope how it has their. Uh, logo right there and then check this out i'm gonna go around and you guys are gonna see the um i think my order number's on there where's my order oh there's their logo where's the order number i forgot where the order number was hmm oh that's right okay so this is the custom part that Darren had to do. This is the part that I just learned. Okay, they told me like it had to be customized and go figure, I mean, I, I, I knew it, I knew it. Like I, I, a lot of things have to <laughs> get customized on this car. Um, I think, so this came with like the, the bottom end plate or whatever, right? I think what Darren had to do was shave off the end plate from there, right? Because the, the end plates did not match up with the ZR1 mounting hardware that's bolted to the chassis. And so what I think he did right now that I'm filming the video, I think he shaved them off of the Nine Lives Racing pylons and then used the uh, the uh, C7 carbon, um, like uh, not end plates, but what do, you, what do you call it? Like the mounting hardware and stuff, right? Like the plate that attaches to it. 
Um, so yeah, so, all right, now I'm understanding where the, where the big customization came in. So yeah, that, that's awesome. He made it work. That's so, so dope. So yeah, so I've still got pieces of my C7 carbon um, mounting, and then I've got the nine life racing wing now bolted to it. So yeah, even, even more custom than I thought. But man, this thing catches the sun so well. I mean, look how massive it is. Obviously, it's gonna catch the sun. But yeah, that's this thing is a dream. This thing is just my hand, my hand compared to it, right? Just look at that. Just, it's not even on it. My hand's not even on it. My hand's like still like about an inch. So like right, like that. I <laughs> think those end plates are huge. Oh, I love this thing. So big shout out to Nine Lives Racing. Um, this thing was definitely worth the wait. And, and it, it took a while. Like, I mean, you, if you guys follow Nine Lives Racing, you guys know how busy they are. And so they're just churning out orders. And so I placed the order for the dual carbon mega wing. Um, and it took a little bit of time to get here, but well worth it. I mean, everything just came out. It, it came out beautiful. So um, Johnny, like, thank you so much for the, the craftsmanship. I, I mean, that, that is awesome. Like, I was, I, I didn't know what it was going to look like. I really, I was worried um, that it might not match up well. And I couldn't have asked for a better wing. Like this thing just, I'm in, I'm in love with the car all over again. And so, yeah. So thank you so much. Um, all right. I'm going to get going. So I went ahead and bought a, uh, I don't know what you call this thing. It's like a grab reacher thing on Amazon, right? It was like seven bucks. And so you can use this to like grab, you know, like any bolts or something like that that'll fall in the engine bay. But anyways, I've got a whole bunch of leaves that are building up in front of like the intercooler and whatnot, um, radiator and all these other, you know, every, basically the everything that's trying to like cool off the vehicle is pretty much blocked right now. So little by little, I'm just grabbing one at a time. So check this out. It's awesome. It's the little things that uh, that matter to me. Which is what I keep telling you guys in all the videos, obviously. I'm not kidding. Come on, you. Okay. See, so this is perfect. Like, obviously my hand can't go through these openings. So you just get one of these and then you can clear out all the all the leaves and all the debris. So still a bunch left, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. It's Ugh. a cold, gloomy day, but an update on the wing. Yes, I love it. It's great. When I drove it home from GTPs, it's back roads uh, up to like 45 miles an hour or whatever, blah, blah, blah. No, not even, like 40. So anyways, um, I didn't really push the car, obviously. Well, it seems like at 53 miles an hour, I just noticed yesterday because I went to my cousin's house um, and I was on the highway. At 53, this thing starts whistling like no other. Um, it's not that, like if you have the windows up and stuff like that, you're going to hear the whistling, but it's, it's not like drone, right? Like drone is worse, all right? Like exhaust drone is worse, but the whistling is there. Um, and it, I couldn't tell if it was the drone or the exhaust that was giving me a headache. Like as if my ears were kind of clogged or you... More than likely, probably, but I pushed the button to close the exhaust. And so then when you don't even hear the exhaust, uh, the cars whisper quiet. However, that now you hear the whistling like no other. Um, so the whistling was still getting to me and you could try to drown it out with music, but you're going to have to blast the music. And so like I was listening to music like at a subtle level, but you can still tell there's like a background noise somewhere. So anyways, let me show you where I think the whistling is coming from. I'm hoping I didn't screw up the aerodynamics of the vehicle like completely to the point where the wing itself entirely is gonna create the whistle. So let me show you what I think is the problem. Okay, so since it's dual bladed, I think it's the fact that the, the air is going obviously in between both blades, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and block that off 
and see if it makes a difference. So what am I gonna block that off with? I Like it, this was, I, I'm not gonna say genius, but I, I think this will work. I hope this will work. Okay. So this is, uh, I don't know, um, like door sealer, door, door. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's for the door, man. It's for the door, right? Okay, like this is an old one or whatever. But anyways, you put this along the door, right? And then it seals the draft and everything. Um, so this, I'm hoping it'll work. I can wedge it right in between there, obviously, right? Like, I mean, this, look, look how pliable this is. Like, I mean, it'll expand and then you can definitely like shrink it. So I'm thinking that's gonna be perfect right there. Like towards the center, it it's like non-existent, like the gap. But then on the edges, obviously, it, it's more pronounced. So I'm gonna run this along the length, and then I, it's got a it's double sided tape, which is awesome, right? So then I'm just gonna lay it down and then peel it off, and then hopefully that'll take care of it. If that does take care of it, then now you guys know there's a way to fix whistling when you get like a dual bladed wing. Um, so, uh, you know, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully this works. I'm going to take it out. for Okay. So I got it. Got it running the entire length. So pretty, this thing is super pliable by the way. So it's, it's really easy for you to like crease it exactly where you need it. And then you just cut it right there and you'll be good. Um, so here, let's take a look from this angle. So, so see, like it, it fills up the gap nicely and then it runs all the way over here. And then all I gotta do is just maneuver this and then put it here. Now see, you'll see a gap right there. However, this thing, the the black piece will expand. So that little rubber piece is gonna expand really, like it, it'll fill up the gap. And not to mention, I mean, that small little par part's probably not gonna even make noise. It would be like the whole thing probably making noise. So I'm gonna cut that real quick. I'm gonna put it in there and uh, I hope it works. All right, so luckily, Obviously, uh, I wasn't thinking, but this is very pliable, right? Uh, it's not it's not metal. So the carbon fiber, it flexes. So I was able to, like, especially towards the center, right? Towards the center where it's much more pinched than the edges. I was able to push up and then wedge the uh, door seal completely along the edge. So now I don't worry about it being, like, uneven, like where it's pushed forward, a little forward in the middle, and then it's much further back, like, on the sides. So now... I'm able to have it flush with the entire back of the wing or the back of the first wing, whatever <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying. So now I'm talking about like, it's completely sealed, like completely sealed. So no, no gaps whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to finish pulling this off real quick. We're going to take a look from this angle. Um, so yeah, no, no, uh, yep, no visible light leaks or anything. So we are good. We are good. Yeah, obviously this is like kind of defeating the purpose. Um, so the angle of the dual blades, right? Like uh, you can adjust it. You can you can adjust this uh, the back one, of course, right? It's got an extra spot, so you can make it basically an air brake, or you can flatten it out more, um, depending on what you're going for on, and depending on what track you're at, right? So I get it. If you're gonna put like a rubber, if you're gonna put a rubber seal there then of course it's going to prevent you from being able to adjust it i mean you might be able to you might be able to adjust it and keep that rubber seal there but regardless uh, obviously it wasn't meant to have like the rubber seal but like i said um i did it more for the look and so I, I did it purely for the look and so it doesn't bother me um obviously like i'm looking at it and you'd be like well at this point since it's all sealed off then why wouldn't you just get one swooping wing right then that would be much more aerodynamic but whatever i mean i didn't know this was probably right, gonna so hurt. let's get this thing up to speed uh, go ahead and close the exhaust that's yeah i'm not gonna be able to hear anything with the exhaust okay all right so exhaust is quiet um i'm gonna hit 50 at 53 it starts whistling 54, 55. Absolutely no whistling. This is awesome. Yes. Now we know. Now we know if you've got a dual bladed wing and you're just getting it for purely aesthetics, if you're getting it for purely aesthetics, then all of a sudden, just go ahead and get yourself, uh, all of a sudden, I don't know why I say all of a sudden, but go ahead and get yourself 
um, door sealer because that's going to take care of it. It's going to take care of it. Onto the highway real quick. I'm going to close it again. All right, 47, cars, 53, 54. Oh, yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Back to normal. This is, this is amazing. This is amazing. As if, as if I never had a whistle in the first place. I'm telling you guys, like, I wouldn't have gone through all this trouble if, if the whistle was super subtle. And as much as I was making it seem like it wasn't that big of a deal, I mean, it is, right? When you're, if you're trying to cruise home or whatever and you close the exhaust and you're just trying to like mellow out or whatever, you know, maybe listen to your music or not even listen to music, just not even listen to music, uh, just be in your cabin all quiet. I mean, that whistle, you're gonna hear it loud and clear. And so it'll drive you nuts eventually. So it turns out the wing is off by a smidgen. Um, it's lower on the driver's side than it is on the passenger side. And I'm talking about it's probably, it literally, like I'm thinking we put a washer on the driver's side and it should level it out. Um, so I don't, I don't know if it'll come out in the video, I'll try to film it right here, but I'm gonna, I gotta try to find flat ground. We live in such a hilly, we, I live in such a hilly area. Um, Northern Virginia in general, it's, it's very up and down and stuff. So I gotta find a, a parking garage. Um, so I'm gonna go to Fairfax, downtown Fairfax, and then park it in there. And then I'm gonna take measurements. Take measurements from the corner, right? To the um, ground on both sides and then see how much it's off. I try to take measurements in the garage, but my garage, uh, the foundation is sinking. So the vehicle, when you store it, I mean, it's 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 pretty bad. So there, there was no the way term out. I was looking for the other day was aerodynamics. Remember how I was saying like, um, one day I'll make it easy to get in this car. Um, no, probably not, not with age. As I keep aging, it's gonna get worse, so whatever. Um, so aerodynamics, right? I was talking about like the aesthetics, right? Like, oh man, I hope I hadn't ruined the aesthetics of the vehicle. That's that's in the beholder's eye, right? Like for me, the aesthetics of the vehicle now looks amazing. Some more purists might be like, yeah, you ruined the vehicle now with that big wing. So it is what it is with that, with regards to that. But I was talking about aerodynamics, right? So since it was whistling, had I screwed up with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Um, and I probably did at this point. I mean, that <laughs> the wing is so big. I mean, I, I, I probably did. Um, like I said, I'm not putting it to the right purpose. I'm not putting it to use the correct way, right? I'm just cruising around town. So I'm probably just destroying my gas mileage. I haven't really noticed too much, but I'm sure it's affecting the gas mileage. Um, but then it's, it's funny cause like right now as I'm filming, I just saw a post from Nine Lives Racing. Now they got a triple blade wing that they're that they're fabbing up i'm not saying i'm excited and i'm going to inquire about it but it does catch my attention so i'm like triple blade but i did see the angle of it i mean it's like an air break pretty much so uh maybe i'll just stick with two but anyways so yeah aerodynamics um i was saying yeah the aesthetics of the vehicle or whatever i was talking about the aerodynamics of the vehicle maybe that's what was causing the whistling and all that but luckily um, now that I put the uh, the rubber the rubber door seal between the two blades, no more whistling, so that was taken care of. So, anyways, all right, we're gonna go find a parking garage. I'm gonna measure this, uh, and then we're gonna see if I'm crazy or not. All right, so we made it to like the closest parking garage to my house, and uh, this looks pretty flat. I mean, I'm it, it's all relative, right? Like I, I can only assume this is probably like one of the flatter parts of the area, I guess. So it is what it is. Anyways, turn the car off. Uh, one, so you guys can hear me better, but then two, I tried, uh, I was I was just being quick the other day, like in my garage, trying to measure the, um, you know, from, from the tip down or whatever, and I was just inhaling. It was disgusting. I was inhaling. Dude, my eyes were burning. Okay, so just measured it. All right, so 37 and a half right here from, from the tip to the floor, 37 and a half uh, inches, 37.25 right there. 37 and three fourths, 37 and a half. So it's literally off by, you guys don't make fun of me. I suck at math or whatever like that, but it, a, a quart, quarter of an inch? Yeah, quarter of an inch, point, point 0.25, yeah. So this is 0.25 higher than this side. And so like, you see, you see right there, like I'm, I'm lining it up pretty nicely. You see how on the left-hand side, it's just slightly closer. You can see more on the right. So yeah, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to raise, we're gonna have to raise that just slightly. Just 
pro put, probably put space, so spacers on this side and level it out a little bit. Obviously this one is against the wing. And so this corner is already against the wing. So if we want to adjust it and I don't want this thing to dig into the wing, then we'll probably put, whoop, I don't know. I don't know how we can do it. We could probably put like one spacer on this side, right? Like very thin spacer. And then we can put like, double it up on this side. So I think that's the route we're going to go. But yeah, all right. So I'm not crazy. So 37 and a half on the back, 37.25 in the front, 37 and three fourths there. And then 37 and a half in the front right there. So yep, it, it, uh, luckily it all matches up, right? So I'm not, you know, it, it'd be weird if it was different uh, measurements and stuff like that, but that, that lines up beautifully. It's literally 0.25 inches higher on this side so all right we're gonna get that remedy tomorrow today sunday so i'm gonna swing by the shop tomorrow see if they have time if not then maybe sometime this week or whatever maybe i could just drop off the car it shouldn't be too bad um it's literally i mean we're just i guess they would just unbolt it right they would just unbolt it right there um put the wing down and then put it right back on luckily i don't think it's it requires any fab work or anything I swung by gtps uh met up with galen and so i was asking him about adjusting the uh the pylons and so he was saying like the pylons are pretty much already maxed out with the adjustment that like we can't really put any more spacers on it um, because then it'll just make the pylons completely uneven. So um, he told me um, there's horizontal bolts that I can adjust, right? Um, I'll, I'll show you all this. I'll, I'll go over there. Um, but anyways, um, he was saying play around with the other bolts because um, they're not mil spec. And so there's still some adjustability. Um, there's room to play and stuff. So let me let me show you exactly what we're all talking about and stuff. And I'm gonna get to that right now, um, and see if I can just you know uh, level out the wing just a little bit. We can't put spacers in there anymore because if if we bring this up, because this is this is the side that's lower. So so this side needs to go up, obviously, and that needs to come. However you want to see it. If you want to you want to raise this side or you wanna like lower that side and then it evens out. I had not thought about that at all. Like I hadn't thought about, well now obviously after talking to Galen and stuff, now I see that we're like we can lower one side. However, I was purely focused on uh, the like the base plate or whatever, right? And so this one's already completely against the paint. So you can't adjust it. If, if we were gonna do it that route, you'd have to put spacers here to raise that corner right so it's not touching the plastic and then you'd have to put more spacers here so to even it out or whatever however then that's going to create a really big gap there compared to the smaller gap over here right so he said don't worry about here focus more up here he said like because these aren't mil spec holes and so he said there's room to play with you can even see like that that hole's much bigger than the the bolt itself um, so he said, and, and like I said, I mean, it's a, a quarter of an inch. So literally it's, it's this much that we need to play with. And so he was saying, look, raise this side up, like, you know, loosen it up, push this side of the wing up, see if that helps. If it doesn't loosen this side up, lower this, and then just make sure this side is higher up. So then that way, at least the wing, like, I mean, for... 0.25 i think i should be able to get that adjustment right there just to slightly tilt it up more on this side so we'll see i'm gonna do that right now um and we'll see if it fixes it like because right here like i told you so like when you look you see see the orange you can see more of the orange on this side slightly than you can on that side see yeah so all i gotta do is just raise this up a smidgen and it should be good. so problem fixed that literally took two minutes it, let me all show right. you so this was super simple just had to loosen these up um and so then um and now i've got the wiggle room like the the play that i need for this um this right here i mean this is just a the clear coat i guess or whatever like i'm not concerned with that we had to obviously tighten the wing down um so it's just funny because to me it stands out like uh like a, like a frosted uh like like a glazed uh, donut i had those last night so that's why i'm like oh nice <laughs> but anyways all right so get this um all right so if i push up I don't think I don't know if it's gonna come out on the video. I, I I doubt it's gonna come out on the video. But if I push up, it really creates like see right now it's not coming out in the video. So I I sound like an idiot. But if I push up right here, the wing literally flexes up enough. It's it's literally a, a quarter inch that it's flexing up. Like it's perfect. It, it's definitely minimized the gap. I have I don't have to touch this side at all. So all I gotta do is just push up on this 
and then just tighten it down while I'm holding up. And that will, you know what? If I, let's see. So if I, let's see if I hold it up. Yeah, there you go. The gap is a lot better. See? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to do that right so, now. So tighten it back down. And let's see. Let's see. Let's just let's look at right there where the orange is. So if we line it up, it is. Look at that. That is perfect. That is perfect. It might be like a millimeter difference, but it is no longer that 0.25. Wow. All right. The quarter, the quarter inch, you could tell it was noticeable. This right here, I got it probably within like a millimeter if if not perfect for that matter like i'm looking at it right now i'm trying to look at it through the camera and then i'm also trying to look at it with my eyeballs and i'm pretty sure it's within like a millimeter difference and stuff so yeah just that's my ocd kicking in so i mean this thing is now absolutely flawless and beautiful i can't thank galen enough for uh helping me think outside the box like when i it's not that i get set in my ways but i really just couldn't think of any other solution i was like oh man we got to put spacers underneath the pylons it just it didn't occur to me that there were other points of adjustability on the wing. Uh, and look look how simple it is. So if you ever have a wing that's off on one side or whatever, just remember that. You can obviously adjust it from the base or you can adjust it from, uh, uh, I guess, where the pylons meet the bottom of the wing, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, there's, there's many points of adjustability. And so since the holes were bigger than the bolt itself or whatever, I literally was able to just tug on the wing slightly and then it, it raised it up. I haven't driven this thing in so long, by the way. I've been so focused on the Mercedes. But, oh, it looks so good. That thing is so massive. I had to pull it up all the way up front now. So now it's just going to permanently be this far up front because I was thinking maybe I could leave it further back. But um, I, I can't get in and out of that door. So the fact that, like, sometimes I come home real quick, I open the garage door, um, and then I, you know, I forget to open this one, and I open this one. I'm just like, all right, whatever. Let's just pull the vehicle all the way up, and then this way I can squeeze by. So... Yeah, like, I mean, I've got just barely enough room to squeeze my butt. Just suck it in, suck it in, suck it in. And then you get in. Yeah, you see, and you're good. <laughs> but yeah, like, oh, this thing looks so good. So I measured the length of the vehicle. Okay, so um, I've been looking right now at uh, uh, storage places for the vehicle. And so from here, from the front of the freezer to literally this wall right here, is exactly 18 feet and so now i know i need an 18 foot uh i guess like you can only find them in 10 feet uh so it's 10 foot by 18 feet or you can do like 10 by 10 10 by 15 or whatever so it's gonna have to be a 10 foot by 18 foot um at least i'm saying at least uh, most of the time they offer 10 by 20 um but I did find one that was 10 by 18. However, the road to get to it is Still completely being paved. I went to go check it out yesterday. And so, I mean, the, the unit itself looks flawless and stuff. I just can't get the vehicle there. It's completely just torn up all gravel and everything. And then when it becomes paved again, it is such a big bump. So anyways, regardless, there's no way I'm going to take this car there and then realistically be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go get it on the weekend and stuff like that. I'd rather just wait for the entire road to be paved. Um, and then that's an afterthought. And then that way I can take the vehicle there. So obviously I can't reserve it for that long. I mean, it might take like a month, month and a half, two months or whatever to pave the whole road. So anyways, I'll just keep looking around, maybe something a little bit closer because where I was looking was a pretty good distance away from the house. Um, but that's, I mean, that's how you save money, right? If it's, if it's not by me, then you're saving at least like 50 bucks um, a month. And so that's, that's significant considering it's almost like another car payment a month, you know? But yeah, one last look. Isn't it crazy just how far back that thing sticks out? It's it's literally like two feet back. So it's, especially because this end right here kind of comes down this way. So it actually gives it like an extra about an inch and a half from here to here. And so, yeah, you, you really got to take that into consideration, especially, especially like if, if someone's parked like across the street and I need to back the car up and then straighten out to go up the ramps or whatever, I got to keep in mind that this thing is much further back than the back of my vehicle, right? So that really hinders um, your ability to back up. But it, not just that, not even just here. Actually, uh, at the storage garage that I was looking at, um, the rows, like if one garage door is over there and then the other garage door is here, it was actually going to be difficult to get the car 
to turn towards the garage door and then back up. Because once again, I said like the camera is not really taking into consideration this added length. So you just need to be careful whenever you're choosing like an aftermarket wing um, for the vehicle, just taking into consideration your proportions are gonna change, right? So it might elongate your vehicle, it might just make it tall or whatever. So you just gotta remember that because the last thing you want is like for you to be driving the vehicle one day and not paying attention or anything like that. And then whack, you hit something. So anyways, just something for you guys to think about. All right, well, finally, I'm gonna wrap it up. So if you like that video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe. And uh, this is just another video that I'm uploading right now. I've got two more, two or three, two or three left on the, uh, on the phone that I gotta put on the YouTube channel. So anyways, stay tuned. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.